Hi, yes, hello, and welcome to Millennial Movie Monday. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. It's day two, that's four, it is day two of Halloweens, where I watch the scary movies in night vision and the lighthearted ones in regular lighting. Go ahead, like, subscribe, so you never miss a Halloweens episode or any upload in the future. Friday's upload was Scream. They mentioned this movie like two or three times. The 1976 movie, Carrie. Now, why did I pick this one? Because I feel like Carrie, like you can't get away from Carrie. I feel like all the sitcoms, all the adult cartoons, like every Halloween, or at least one Halloween in all their stints, there's always a Carrie reference and it's always the scene of I guess Carrie's the girl on the stage and she's covered in what I am assuming is blood. I don't know why she is on the stage. I don't know why she's covered in blood. I don't know who she is, what she does, how she gets there. But I feel like it's one of those movies that, I mean, hell, Scream had it referenced. Family Guy has referenced it. Bob's Burgers has referenced it. It's just a very referenced movie. And so I feel like it is time for me to watch it, to understand the reference, and to get scared shitless, hopefully. Is this a Stephen King novel? Is this? If it is, you can never go wrong with Stephen King, number one. Number two, his shit always scares me. So I'm very excited about it. I'm actually really surprised. It's only like an hour and 30 minutes long. That seems really quick to me now. I'm not complaining, just an observation. So let's see if it really is Stephen King. Let's see if I know any of the actors in it. And let's find out why Carrie is on that stage covered in blood. Let's roll on into episode two of Hallow Beans for this year. And it is the 1976 Carrie. you come in, Mrs. White? <laughs> well, you stay there long enough. Her hair is what mine looks like first thing in the morning. Okay, so the mother's super religious. Carrie has secret powers, and I'm confused. Yo, woman. Why didn't you tell me, Ma? That's a great question. I live with we can loose the raven on the world. Oh my God, I don't have time for this. Say it. No, Mama. Say it. He was weak. Oh my god, this is traumatizing. No! 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 She's gonna shut her in a closet. 
closet? Lord, that's terrifying! How long are you gonna leave her in the closet? Thank you, Mama. You can go to bed now. She thanked her mom for keeping her in a closet? Didn't even eat dinner and told her she could go to bed? Okay, so this family is big crazy. each other and that could be enough I thought this person was a girl that his hair is beautiful this is slightly different from running touchdowns and hitting home runs well <laughs> don't judge a book by its cover McDermott. why are people mean to her I don't understand so what she's a little different and spit out that gum where I put it Miss Collins you can choke on it for all I care just <laughs> damn son Every day, starting today, on the athletic field. <laughs> Y'all gonna be running. You're gonna miss out on I'm not coming. Oh, I'm miss oh my god, she's the worst. Yeah, y'all are doing great. I don't know what this exercise does for you, but get it. Just think, y'all gonna be in some great shape for prom. So did Chris make it to detention? I don't see her. Come on, you hot shots. One, two, I can't get away with this. Get away with this! It's your punishment for being a douche! Stick him up your a- Oh! Oh my god! She smacked the shit out of her! We can't get away with this if we all stick together, Norma! Norma, you trying to get the shit smacked out of her? If I had a dollar for every time I would stare at something and try to make it move, I would have a lot of dollars. I want you to take Carrie White to the prom. Why? Look at a young John Travolta! Oh my god, he's such a little cutie. Hey, Freddy! Hey, wanna go off to Mitski's for some hard stuff? He's got his own hard things to tend to. <laughs> so she's just awful to everybody. Like, she's just a bitch. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. We ended in this car. All right. Done shit. I thought I told you never to call Okay, him she shouldn't call him that, but he shouldn't hit her like that. That's not okay. Is she okay? Even I'm confused by all her mixed signals. Like, I don't understand. Girl, you ain't doing too much with your mouth if you're still able to say his name like that. Uh, you know who he reminds me of? Evan Peters, for some reason. You, if you don't have a date for the prom next Friday, would you like to go with me? She's not going to take that bait. Well, what is it, then? You can trust me, you know that? Mm, I don't know if she can trust you. You're set out on my good list, lady. Her mama would kill her. Is there anything else, Norma? No, why are they all set over? Why is it weird? I don't understand. Oh, because they're all in on the plan together. That's why it's... We're not trying to hurt her, Miss Collins. We're trying to help her. How? On the surface, it seems like they're trying to help by getting her involved, getting her out of the house, getting her to have fun. But I don't think that's accurate. I think I have the same pair of sunglasses. Or close to it, at least. Hi, Gary. Hi. Her mom is going to so see a boy, live, huh? and her mom is going to have a full-on come apart. Because he painted them all. I know. I, I went out with a girl that posed for him. <laughs> You're standing out here, get her done, man. Get yeah, her get her done. done. Hop in there, boop, right in the temple. Man, so y'all big crazy. Also, it shouldn't take that many hits to kill the pig, by the way. I've been invited to the prom. Oh, your mama's not having that. That's disgusting. Nice. All right, love that for her. He ended your father and carried him off. What? what happened? He ran away, Mama. But that was... I mean, I'd run away from you, too. You're crazy. Hurry up. I want to go home. Okay, so they're filling this bucket up with blood. And they're going to do something to her because she started her period? Think we can arrange that, huh? Yeah, okay. Can you be here, uh... Another part of the plan. Yeah, see you, Freddy. Take it easy. Yeah, I'll take it any way I can get it, pal. <laughs> Oh, their laughs are 
atrocious, and that's coming from me. What's she gonna wear? A carry? A sackcloth? <laughs> I bet she's gonna be the prettiest one there. Shut up. I wanna know now, Chris. Just wait. Can't give me a hint. Norma, shut up. Uh, that was not really your color, girlfriend, but if that's what makes you happy. Look at that big ass bow tie. Nice. That's what I like. See, she's so pretty. Uh, in that blush dress. I can see your dirty pillows. What? Everyone will. Her boobs? <laughs> dirty pillows? <laughs> Wow, she's very manipulative. Sit down! Be quiet! Damn. Well, hold on, now that I'm thinking about it, was that her power or was that her mom being dramatic? Okay, wow, their prom looks like so much fun. My senior prom did not look like this at all. I'm just really enjoying this moment. I haven't said anything in a little bit because I'm just having a good time. Wow, Norma, you're still wearing that ridiculous hat. Shut up. Would you like to dance? Could we just sit here for a minute? Oh, I thought they were really gonna dance for a second. Okay, I think Carrie is beautiful. People consider their senior prom to be magic. Please. We could stop in at the Beehive for a couple minutes. Oh, that's so nice! This just makes me so happy for her. Like, I have butterflies for her. And then just sway back and forth. That's what I do. I don't know how to dance. What? Oh my god! Okay, well she's in love because she's never experienced anything else before. The scene is kind of making me dizzy going around. everything well, who, who should we vote for yourself <laughs> vote for yourself oh so mama's still going crazy back at the house I see that's good you're missing the carrot girl you're missing the carrot that carrot white she sure is cute she is thanks for finally seeing that Balance, can so I due to Thanks, pop sir. culture I know that she's going to win and they're going to dump pig blood on her, but with her telekinesis powers, what's going to happen to them after that happens to her? I really hope Tommy has a change of heart. Like, he's been so great, and I really don't want to think that he's that big of a dick, you know? Can nobody smell that? Like, blood has an odor. Especially pig blood that's been in the open air like that. Nobody can smell a weird smell. She is living her best life, and that makes me so happy for her. She has a rough home life, which makes the what's about to happen even worse. Why did I think John Travolta was going to try to look up her dress? Oh, no. This breaks my heart. Am I going to cry? And the gym teacher is so happy for her. Sue, why are you acting surprised? Like, I thought you were in on this. I'm confused why Sue is confused. I thought she was in on this. Oh my god. This buildup has my heart racing. Oh no. Did Tommy not know that was going to happen either? Oh no, and now they're all going to laugh at her. Oh my god, am I going to cry? Tommy, I just want to say that was an empty bucket that hit you in the back of the head, sir. That was a little dramatic. Oh no. Why is the gym teacher laughing? A split screen. Oh. Telekinesis coming in! Y'all done done. Yo, okay, her eyes are scary. 
What is she gonna do? And they can't exit because all the doors are shut. Drown her ass! Oh, they're carrying Tommy out. I couldn't figure out what they were carrying. Oh my god! Where's that water hose when you need it, am I right? Is she just gonna leave? She's just gonna walk out? Well, I don't blame her. But what's your mom gonna say? Oh my god, your mom's gonna lock you in that closet for months. The fire truck doesn't want to check that out. I mean, I know the fire truck's headed to the fire, but... Oh my god! She straight up blew it up! Okay, Carrie, you're headed home. What are you gonna do now? Your mom's gonna absolutely lose her shit. Oh my god, her hands are so creepy. I don't think your mama's okay, Carrie. Did she sacrifice herself? I'm nervous. Where's her mama? Oh my god, the music's got me so scared. No! Oh, me! Oh, me! What is she doing there? Is her mama gonna kill her? Girl, you ain't got a shower? Are you just gonna literally bathe in the blood? What is her mama gonna do? We ain't just gonna brush over the fact her mama was hiding back there. Where'd she go? She's not there anymore! Where'd she go? I should have killed myself when he put it in me. What? I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, I thought, oh, I thought she was raped. But it sounds like it was consensual. We'll pray. Yes. You probably need to. She done killed a whole bunch of people at that school. For the last time. The last time. Oh my God. She stabbed her daughter? Girl, use your power to knock her out with something or something. Nice, nice, nice. Like a crucifix. This moaning doesn't sound like dying kind of moaning. Did she end up in a crucifix fashion? Did she end up like that? Because I think she did. Looking just like that crucifix up in her prayer closet. I would not be going close to her. I would not be doing that. Who the f*** is upstairs? Who the f*** is upstairs? Girl, her other hand is on the wall! Girl, her other hand is on the wall! The house is sinking into the ground? Why do Jesus' eyes look so scary? Is Carrie causing this to happen? Oh, Sue made it. Good for her. Oh, I love her dress. A little tea length moment. Well, he said that she's young. She'll forget all about it. That's traumatic as f She ain't gonna forget. I understand this is a dream for Sue, and it makes me nervous that a jump scare is about to happen. Me, Jesus Christ, I knew that was gonna f happen. I have goosebumps. <laughs> I got goosebumps in my scalp. I'm like, it got me good. It's over? Okay. Let's turn on some lights and talk about it. Oh my God. My face is red because it's hot in here and also that last jump scare fucking got me. Okay, I told you it's hot. I'm gonna be real honest with you. I... Okay, so like, for the longest time, like, getting all the way up to the prom night, I'm just gonna tell you. I mean, probably the first hour of the movie, I was sitting here, like, there were a few jump scares, like, when the mirror broke and stuff like that, and, like, that got me because I'm a chicken shit, but for the longest time, I'm like, why is this movie such a big deal? Like, this is kind of slow-paced and, like, Meh. Well, now I know, because once the blood falls, everything goes to shit. It goes to hell in a handbasket and it doesn't stop the rest of the time. There is one thing that I wish I could change and I'm sure it's addressed in the novel. Am I gonna read the novel? No. I'm sure it's addressed there. Tell me in the comments if it is. Why was Carrie so disliked? I mean, I know she was weird but that was because of her home life and she can't do anything about her home life. I just feel like the movie started and everybody hated Carrie for no reason. For her to get her period and not know what's going on and to get made fun of, that happened to me. And so it's like not everybody has somebody they can talk to about that kind of stuff. So that was unnecessary meanness. But you know, you just, the movie kicks off. Like it's supposed to be a fact that nobody likes Carrie. But I wish, 
I wish I knew why nobody liked Carrie. Does that make sense? Like maybe there is no reason why and I'm just supposed to accept the fact that she got made fun of. Like she just was the outcast and but I don't like just having to accept that. Oh my god. <sighs> this movie. I, again, I started pooping on it internally. I was like, when is, when is this gonna get like good? When is this gonna get like scary? Like it's taking forever. It got good and it got scary. Oh my God. And you want to know something? At the very end when Sue was dreaming and it was foggy and she was going up to Carrie's house, it gave me, um, Nightmare on Elm Street vibes at the end when all the kids get in the car and it's foggy and then Freddie like grabs the mom through the door. Anyways, but like I said, once she gets, once that bucket of blood falls, game over. That was some, that was some scary shit. Oh my god, the piece of the ceiling falling down and chopping the gym teacher in half, or at least hitting her in half, like, she got what she deserved. Honestly, I trusted her for about 30 seconds, and then when I saw her laughing, this was a great movie, and that last jump scare, I even said it was coming, and it still got me. I, I know, I know these things are gonna happen, like, I can read the writing on the wall, and I still get scared. This was a great movie. I gotta pee really bad. That last jump scare did a number on my bladder, and my heart rate. Woo. And plus, it's Stephen King, like, you can't mess with perfection, you know? By the way, if you don't follow him on Twitter, you really should, he's very funny. Carrie, 1976 Carrie. I finally understand why it is referenced so much. It is a fucking staple. Number one, Stephen King. Number two, wow. Also, she's fucking creepy. She was beautiful. Number one, oh, Bean scared the shit out of me. Come on, come on in, kitty cat. She was beautiful. I think she's very pretty. But man, at the end when she was like, and be looking, she'd be like, I liked it for the scary effect, but bam, was it scary. And a question, the house sinking into the dirt. Was that Carrie's doing? Like, cause her mama was the only one she had and then when her mama died, she regretted it. And so like her telekinesis, like she just brought the house down on, on themselves, like on herself with her mom. Did I interpret the ending correctly? Like Carrie destroyed the house and made it sink. Carrie, 1976, a great time. Five out of five stars. This wraps up today's Millennial Movie Monday, the second installment of Hallow Beans. Like, subscribe, stick around, links to social media down below, links to last year's Hallow Beans if you want to check that out too. Beans. If you want to be my friend outside of the YouTubeverse, social links down below, and I'll see you right back here on Wednesday for Elvira, Mistress of Darkness. Beanie Butt, Mistress of Crusty butts. All right, I'll see you right back here on Wednesday. Until then, bye.